All right, everybody. Welcome back to Mob Pop Sports. This is Grandy. Today, uh, it's been a while since I've done this. It's kind of a, um, I guess you can say monthly ritual. I usually do it with my daughter. She's, she she wants to open up basketball cards, so we'll have to wait till next time on that one. But um, I got this new submission back in from SGC. We'll see how I did. I have not looked at any of the grades. Um, I don't even remember what I sent in uh, in regards to this submission. So uh, if you guys are wondering, the five to 10 day return um, is pretty accurate. Um, I would say SGC is still pretty much the fastest out there in regards to getting your uh, submissions back. And I, I truly, that's who I've been using a lot, obviously. Um, and then, obviously, I still use some PSA because, obviously, PSA holds better value. But uh, I just feel that uh, SGC, for me to, to be able to increase my inventory in the storefront on the eBay store, um, I just got to speed. Speed's going to be the one thing that I need the most of. So here's a kind of... You guys can see the packaging of the SGC. We'll get into it. And um, I'll talk to you guys a little bit more about uh, SGC and everything and um, why I like them and why um, what I wish was a little bit better and all that good stuff. So obviously they're the uh, black tuxedo and everything everybody should know by now in regards to their grading style. Um, it's, I just feel... I wish they retained their values better, especially the resale value. However, uh, I do feel like currently grading wise, I would say SGC is about, is probably the most consistent in regards to grading. Um, I definitely feel that way in regards to the cards, uh, especially they're, they're pretty, I guess you can say they're strict in regards to like the corners. Uh, the corners and the surface of the car. They they take it pretty, pretty harsh. And also the centering. Centering, actually, I would say centering is more important to SGC than anything else, I feel like. Uh, which to me is pretty important. Uh, I feel like PSA sometimes are a little bit more lenient on the centering. Uh, however, the surface and the corners, I feel like uh, PSA can be a little bit more lenient. It just depends on whoever the grader is that day. And... There, this is from my experience. I'm not saying it's all the time, but definitely I feel um, PSA is a little bit more lenient on the, the cornerings for sure. Uh, how soft they are and the whitening of, of the edges. I feel like they're a little bit of that. But when it comes to surface issue, I think PSA is probably the most strict. So if any dings, dimples, um, creases or anything on a card and you send it to PSA, they will hurt you they will ding you pretty harsh at least that's from my experience um i also feel like i said sgc is a little bit more lenient on that but their centering uh is is pretty pretty important to them and um overall i, I just feel like sgc is just more like i just said more consistent in that sense so all right here we go let's see how we do today uh hopefully we see a bunch of tens guys that's the that's the the plan so here we go first car let's go we have a mr Will Levis, let's go, Gemment 10. Uh, this is the Panini Chronicles Draft Picks Zenith. Sick card, I thought this was super cool. Um, this is about the perfect time to get this guy right now. He's playing, um, he's balling out right now. Gemment 10, we'll take that, let's go. Second one is Paolo Benchero. Let's go, Rookie of the Year Contenders. This is a pretty cool card, I like this card. Uh, Gemment 10, can't go wrong with that. And he's another cat that's uh, playing really, really good right now. So that's good to see. All right. Next card is the GOAT, Jerry Rice. This is the Blue Reactive Prism Mosaic. This is 2023. Uh, pretty cool card. Gem and 10. I'll take that. If you guys are wondering, most of these cards, I probably will be putting it on uh, my eBay store if they don't sell right away. <laughs> so we'll see. Next one is, hey, let's go, Chet Holmgren, he, 2022, yep, Mosaic, this is the Yellow Reactor Prism, uh, he's playing pretty good too right now, I'm telling you guys, the Oklahoma City Thunder, man, tough team, keep, you know, I gotta keep an eye on them, here we go, next one is, let's go, Tua, 
This is the black green die cut prism gem and This is select 2022. Uh, pretty cool. I like this card. Little color match, I think. It's like black and green and silverish. I think it's a, definitely kind of a color match on that. I was a big I, I was definitely a big fan of the 2022 Plex, uh, Panini Selects. Uh, I felt like the designs were, were pretty cool, especially the um, the inserts and stuff. I, I definitely find the parallels. They are pretty cool. At least that's my thoughts. And let's go. Silver Prism. Kenny Pickett. He is injured. But Jim Mint 10. I can't go wrong with that. This is the uh, black Prism Black. But this is the silver one. So that's pretty cool. You can kind of see. Uh, people wondering, I did have people hit me up. How can you tell? You can just kind of tell by the reflection of the silver. Um, you see how it just looks cleaner, obviously being silver. And then obviously, you think they usually print prism on the back of them um, if they are silver on that. So I'll just kind of give you a heads up. Here we go. Next one. Let's go. Gem Mint 10. Another silver prism. This is the Mosaic 2023, the newest one. But this is Drew Brees. Another goat. Uh, this is silver. Cool card. Let's go. Oh, dang, we're doing awesome. Let's go. I can't can't complain yet. Let's go. Here we go. Next one is Travis Kelsey. Let's go. Jim Minton is the blue uh, reactive again. Mosaic. And can't go wrong with a little Kelsey Love and Taylor Swift. So he's she's definitely helping his. This is the crazy thing, though. I think Taylor Swift is definitely helping out uh, his stock and also his cards. It's it's. Pretty funny the way it works. Go figure. Next one. Let's go. Jalen Hurts. 9-5 on this one. We got a 9-5. This is the uh, green prism. This is the National Pride one of you guys can see right here. Uh, pretty cool. I like it. Pretty cool card. 2023 mosaic. Here we go. Next one. Justin Herbert. Too bad he's hurt. But uh, Pink Camel, pretty cool. Gem Mint 10, let's go. Can't go wrong with that. Gem Mint 10. Um, you can see the corners are pretty sharp on these cars, I've noticed. And um, more of the new ones are pretty sharp. And like I just said, centering is definitely key with SGC. They definitely take that to, to heart to, to make sure that happens. So here we go. Next one is, let's go. Another Kenny Pickett. Kenny Pickett, uh, nine five. This is the luminance uh, teal. This is the teal one. It's a little bit different. This is cool, cool horizontal card. A lot of people are not fans of the horizontal. Um, some are. I think it just adds variety. It's kind of cool. Here we go. Not bad. Nine five. We'll take it. Next one is another horizontal. Jim and ten. Let's go, Anthony Richardson. All right, can't go wrong with that. A little green a mosaic. This is the NFL debut. 2022 mosaic. I'll take that. Jim and 10. Uh, another horizontal. The NFL debut. The, I think they, all the NFL. Well, yeah, some of them. This is just the variance. The the horizontal. Cool. Some people like them. Some people don't. You know, it's just uh, whatever you deserve or whatever not you deserve, but whatever you like. So here we go. Next one is. Hey, Shadir Sanders, Bowman, you, Jim and 10. Um, I sent this one in because uh, I'm in Colorado. So go figure, right? Uh, I feel like he's going to be a hot commodity. If next year he has a great year again, um, I think his card is definitely going to go up. Uh, especially uh, he's not even in the pros yet. And if he doesn't turn pro yet, the only card you have of him right now are the college Bowman University cards. So there you guys go. Jim and Tenny can't go wrong with that. And all right, we'll take that. Let's go. Next one is... Another Jim and 10. Let's go, Tyreek. Uh, I'll take that. Green Prism, little color match on there. That is super cool. Uh, this is the Mosaic uh, Epic Performers. Loving this one. Uh, especially if he ends up winning the MVP. I mean, this guy is going to have possibly over, what is it, 2,000 yards receiving? That's insane, guys. You got to think of it this way. So uh, hopefully he pops off. If he wins the MVP, you never know. All right, here we go. Next one. Let's go, Ray, uh, Ray Lewis, another GOAT. Uh, this is a blue reactive prism, 2023 mosaic. You can see uh, I sent a lot of mosaics in on this submission, I guess. Uh, this is a 9.5. Yeah, I mean, could be better. Wish it was a 10, but hey, we'll take a 9.5. All right, next one. Last one, here we go, and it is Victor Wimbiyama. Let's go. This is the uh, draft picks uh, prism, 9.5. Darn it, I wish I got a 10 on that one. 
go figure. Um, hey, I'll take that. He is going to be the stud for many, many odd years to come. Uh, I don't think, barring injury, guys, knock on wood, I think he's definitely going to be uh, definitely high in need. Go ahead, bud. Say hi. <laughs> so we'll probably do a video. Was it next week? You want to open up some sports, uh, some basketball, right? You said. Yeah. Okay, so we'll definitely do that. But uh, this is just like I said. This is just an SGC review, guys. You guys kind of see. I did really well. Um, I did not expect to have that many tens. Actually, I did. I mean, I, I did go through a lot of these, so I was hoping to get a lot of tens. I was hoping this one was going to get a ten, but you know, is what it is. So go figure in that. But. Like I said, uh, if you guys are wondering timetable wise, as you see, this one I probably got back uh, in less than a week and a half. So business days was probably about eight, nine days, nine business days. So a week and a half on that. Uh, not bad. Uh, I had a bulk submission sent to PSA if you're wondering, and PSA is about. <laughs> probably about three months behind i feel like i haven't received um the book submission back on that um so it's just one of those things i'm still sending to, uh, to psa don't get me wrong i think uh specific cards you should definitely send to psa uh sgc if you're just looking to get your inventory up as soon as possible i highly recommend sgc that's just me personally um Hey, who knows? It may change because if PSA, you know, at the beginning of the year and, and last year, I want to say I, I was using PSA quite a bit. And, and the reason being was because they were quick on their turnaround time. Now they have obviously a backlog, I feel like. Um, I feel like they, they've been kind of lagging for sure in regards to getting bulk submissions back. So there is go. And as you see, still, uh, I still like the black tuxedo, just depending on the card. Um, I think it's clean. Uh, some people don't like it. Some people do like it. So it just depends. It is a little bit bigger. I think it's uh, my only thing is with them is the size of it. I feel like it's just a little bit bigger uh, than, you know, the other slabs. But, you know, is what it is on that. So other than that, hopefully you guys enjoy that. I did really well on this one. Uh, take a look. These cards, hopefully I'll definitely put them out on my eBay store. So check out uh, the link in the description. If you guys have watched this far, truly appreciate it. If you guys like this stuff, uh, feel free, man. Subscribe. And then other than that, if you guys watch this far and haven't subscribed, well, thank you for spending the time with us. Right, bud? Yep. There you go. Other than that, till next time. Thanks, Bye -bye. guys.